Welcome Capricorns and when I say thank you for being here, thank you for being back Capricorns. This is the Aquarian season and it is the abundance in money and prosperity reading. Alrighty, so Capricorn, this season begins from the 20th of January until the 18th, 18th of February. So the 20th of January until the 18th of February. So um, it is so strange. Yes. So everything happens in a four week period. Like a lot of you should recognize everything happens in a four week period. What is so beautiful as I glance at this reading is that um, the, 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 the 10 till the 16, the last week, uh, your burden is going to be over. Okay. And that is going to be absolutely fabulous. Your burdens is going to be over. So when we um, check out the frequency that you're going to be working on, um, the number frequency, we have 7 and 3 is 10 and 5 is 15 and another 10. So that is 25, 7. You're on the right part. So Capricorns, whatever you're doing in, in money and financial stability, you are on the right part. So again, um, you know, you can use these number if they're your lucky number. Seven, uh, three, five, and ten. Seven, three, five, and ten. Um, so we have a total of seven and three is ten, and five is fifteen, twenty-five. Use these numbers. Number seven is going to be um for whoever um is lucky with seven, use seven. Um, whoever have number seven as their lucky symbol, use seven. Um, if you have five or three, use it. And if you have 10, this is going to be good because February, the, um, you know, the, the last ending of this Aquarian season is when a lot of you, your burdens is going to be over and you come out with the frequency of seven. So, um, seven is that you're on the right part. You're moving forward and you're on the right part. Let's look at the energy of the Seven of Cups. What is this? How does it affect you and your zodiac energy and the sign? Now, the Seven of Cups is about Venus in Scorpio. Venus in Scorpio, okay? Um, so it is about the fantasy is now over. Addiction behavior is now over. Destructiveness is now over. And you're focusing on creating your financial stability. So if it was upright, it's as if a lot of you have a whole lot of things that is coming up a whole lot of things that you have to do a whole lot of things is coming up and that's how um you know you you have so much um ends in the fire or so much fire is going on around you so much opportunities uh, now you know exactly what you want you're focusing on that and you're going for that so seven is the energy of you going um in the right direction on the right part now seven is a is a company to the seventh house and the seventh house is about contracts so a lot of you um could sign a new contract and is focusing on um fulfilling that new contract or that um in, in your life and this is going to be good and absolutely fabulous because you're going to be recognizing that and um recognizing where you are and how you're transferring a whole lot of situation changing up your world and it's going to be definitely being aware of whatever that was happening and transpiring and opening up uh, it's as if you already open up these door and take the decision and make the decision you're standing firm and understanding this is where i need to be this is what i need to do and this is where i'm staying in this part in this aquarian season in order to create my materialistic world and this is going to be absolutely fabulous there is no question about this so um that is good um this um energy of venus in scorpion is that you're loving your work and you're on the right part you recognize who you are and the part to take and you're focusing on that and the second week, that week is the 27 until the second, the 27 until the second. You are connecting with Venus, associated with um, I wisdom and knowledge, mother heart, okay? The feminine energy, strength and devotion, yin and yang, fertility. So this is a week where um, you could be manifested if you're in service. A lot of abundance could be coming in for you, okay? 
the energy of this is in the reverse. Now, some of you might be using your masculine side of yourself. In, pl in place of that, you need to balance out the masculine and feminine side, okay? So in everything that we do, we have to balance out the masculine and feminine side because obviously the empress is in the reverse. So you're using the masculine sign of uh, the masculine. Okay. So whenever the female energy is in reverse, because this is about love, I see some of you are um, just focusing and carving out some sort of a stability for you and not worried about what is transpiring. You're just really focusing on your work moving forward. It is about you really focusing on your work. A lot of you, your mother or wife could be ex, um, excess, excessing your financial flow, okay? So uh, maybe a lot of you could be have to be financially helping out your mom or that sort of a thing. Business people, you already know which direction you're going in and you're focusing on that and that is going to be bringing you to where you need to be when it comes up to your materialistic and your financial stability, okay? Um, so that is um, absolutely fabulous. So whenever the energy of the Empress comes up, is that you guys are in the reverse, is that you guys are using your masculine energy and it's as if you're not using love, um, you're powering through. So recognize that and rebalance it by balancing the masculine and feminine energy and be softer. It's, a lot, it's as if a whole lot of you are not soft when it comes up to business or work or whatever you're dealing with in order to create. It's as if there's no softness because a lot of you are powering through a situation and you need to recognize that love needs to be um, shared and love needs to be connected. You have to show love and not just power through a situation because I see a lot of you are going to be using the masculine energy instead of the feminine energy. So you have to be aware. So we are going and we're looking at the third week. The third week is from the um, third until the ninth. And we are dealing with a five of cups in reverse. Whenever this energy is in reverse, this is Mars in Scorpion. Mars in Scorpion. So a five of cups is Mars, Mars in Scorpion. You have no disappointment. You don't. You don't feel disappointment. You don't feel as if you have lost anything. You you don't feel as if uh, um you know a situation have a workout is as if a uh, hey, good riddance. Um, okay, so, so if some of you have some sort of a problem, someone is leaving the workplace, some sort of a issue at work and that sort of a thing, it's as if you're saying, hey, good riddance, it's good, bye. It is what it is, life goes on, okay? So in this Aquarian period, is as if this Aquarian period is setting some of you guys up in a, 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 you know, a direction where it's as if you are like, Hey, I'm not sweating it. I'm really not sweating it. It is what it is. And I'm not sweating it. I'm letting it go. So a whole lot of you are recognizing and seeing what was happening and transpiring and recognizing, hey, you can't make something happen if it doesn't want to happen. And I see a lot of you are going to be standing your ground and receding from whatever that was happening and transpiring and recognizing, hey, I don't need to push something to happen. If it's not happening, it's just not happen. But I'm not going to be pushing anything to happen. I'm just going with the flow. And I see that this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because by you just letting things flow and that sort of a thing, you're going to be realizing that your burdens is going to be over because it's as if you are not forced, forcing something to happen. This thing is going to be ending Um by you let go of the focus that you were having on something you're letting go and saying universe take this thing take charge of this thing i no longer want to deal with this thing just take charge of this thing and resolve this thing so it's as if some of you um say to the universe i've had enough i've had enough and i'm letting go i've had enough i'm letting go i don't want to deal with the situation anymore it is time that the universe take this away from me. And this is exactly what the universe is going to be doing because if it's a situation where someone was working against some of you, blocking some of you, um, you know, creating 
issues and problems, you're going to be overcoming this because you're going to be just letting it go to the universe and let the universe take care of it and stand away from it. So this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energies. Capricorn, um, this Aquarian season is very good. Even the, the reverse energies are showing that, hey, um, I know what I want. I know what I'm going for. And at the end, which is the week of 10 till 16, um, you're going to be recognizing, hey, I'm out of this. I'm letting it go. I'm okay. So show your love, Capricorns, by thumbs up, thumbs up, um, and subscribe, subscribe, and thumbs up. If you need um, to find out how to get to this crystal, you have to use the blue link that says join, and then you can access this crystal. I got a girl. Namaste until next time. Woo! <laughs>